What up, guys? We're back with another video. We're going to go over on what is D3D9. Or, yeah, basically, what is D3D9? Or D3D Overrider. <laughs> I'm sorry. I don't know why I said D3D9, but but we're going to go over uh, what is D3D Overrider and how to use it. Now, D3D Overrider is a program that you use to force the game to run on VSync or on Triple Buffer. Now it works specifically good on mainly uh hold on a sec mainly on programs as such like with Intel graphics basically yeah it runs basically good on games that run on uh, Intel graphics but um as you know you're gonna want to put the global settings to off because there are some games that you're not going to want to do this for. Um, obviously, uh, that's why most of my games got a little bit messed up because some games it doesn't work for some games it does now you can make it so that the detect the detection will will be more forcibly so it'll be looking for that specific process which is going to be looking for um, this does not work for 64 bit processes but it works for 32 bit processes so for planet side 2 I put I put both the 64 bit and the 32 bit because what happens is that I uh, switch out the 64 bit to the 32 bit because uh, Planet Side 2 runs a lot better on 32 bit. But, anyways, let's go to the first game that we're going to be using. We're going to go all the way down to OS. Or, we're going to go to the computer. Let's go to OS or C drive. We're going to go to and find Steam. We're going to be using Steam games for this. Um, we're going to Steam apps. Common. Let's try uh, Call of Duty World at War. So, the .exe would probably either be. World at War or World at War MP for since it's got two drag two of them I'm gonna just use uh, Daisy .exe I don't know what B E is but I'm probably guessing that's Battle Eye um, so it's more likely Battle Eye so we're gonna go ahead and put this to medium or high application detection level you can put it to whatever you want um, I don't like VSync so it's for just for getting rid of screen tearing so if you want it go ahead and enable it if you don't want it don't enable it but I'm gonna put triple buffer on with uh, Daisy we press that little button and then we start our game and that's literally it the d3d overrider it only the only thing it really does is forces um, forces uh, triple buffer and VSync that's all it really does um, you can get start with Windows but I highly recommend you not to do that I don't want do not recommend it to be starting with Windows but because um, it may slow down your booting process so when you boot up your operating system so I, I highly recommend you to have that disabled but anyways I'll catch you guys on the next one hopefully uh, D3D Overrider help, helped you guys out um, this hopefully they do update D3D Overrider on Windows um, Windows 10 because a D3D Overrider doesn't exactly work great for Windows 8 already so I really do hope that they update it please I'll catch you guys on the next one. Have a nice day.